Oh no. Oh no. Oh, look at the boat. Oh, we're so screwed. Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with the brand new update here in Stormworks. We are back with the survival update, and I'm actually really excited to jump into this today. Now yesterday we did check out the tsunami in this update, but that was it. We didn't check out actual uh, survival elements because we weren't quite sure how it was going to work in multiplayer. So, we're going to be checking out the survival portion. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, what is survival? Well, that means you can die now in the game. You can die by drowning, fire, falling, getting crushed. Like, your character will actually have a health bar. Now, you don't see it right now because we're actually going to go out to the menu. And I'm going to show you guys all the new options in the update. Now, there are also a lot of other features in the update. There's ship damage now. Uh, supposedly, you can damage your ship enough that it'll leak and possibly sink. So that's a thing, and there's a lot of builder update things in here, and that's including some parts. It's including, I think, an advanced mode for the uh, the ships themselves that require a lot more things to figure out, like the engines can overheat, stall, uh, there's fuel. It's just a ton of new things. This is the biggest update that we've seen uh, to date with Stormworks. So we are going to be doing one sinking ship today, and that's to demonstrate the uh, survival portion. But we're going to jump out to the menu real quick and check out some of the features here that you can now select for the game modes. And it might give you guys, the viewers at home, a little idea as to what we can do here in Stormworks now. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for the new update or anything that you want to see, let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, so here we are in the menu. Now, this has changed up a whole lot. So, you still have your modes like Career and Creative, but you have a Custom Game mode. So, if you go to Custom, you can select any of these boxes over here. You can make it to where it's First Person Only, for Vehicles and Player. You've got Advanced Vehicles here. This is for uh, Transmission Pipes, Fuel Requirements, and Advanced uh, Engine Mechanics. And that's one thing I was talking about earlier. Uh, you've got Vehicle Damage. You've got player damage, NPC damage, you have sharks, which by the way, check out Saturday's video because it gets insane with the sharks. Uh, you've got the teleport vehicles, which these are not actual new features, your uh, fast travel. And rogue mode just means you can't save the game manually, it's auto saves only. Uh, you can select your starting base now. And I think you can do this in career. So yeah, you can select a starting base and you can select to have all uh, the components unlocked too. So there's quite a variety here when it comes to the ways you can customize your game now. So we're going to go to creative, but then we're going to go ahead and select the options we want. We want vehicle damage. We want player damage, NPC damage. We're going to go ahead and let sharks in the water. I doubt we'll run into them. They're pretty rare. And you know what? We're not going to do money. Uh, we can go ahead. We can select which base we want to start in. I think we're going to start in actually on the Mega Island. All right, so here we are. We are actually at the uh, Mega Island. It's kind of cool. You can start out here now. Now, check this out, folks. We can go, whoop, let's hop in the water, and let's hold our head under. Now, if you look in the bottom right, you can see that's your uh, oxygen that you have, and then the bottom's your, uh, your health bar, and obviously, we're drowning right now. Oh, there it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going to die. This is not going to be pleasant. So think of sinking ship survival when we get trapped underwater. Like, there's actual consequences now, which is really cool. But, yep, there we go. We died. All right, so you've got that. You do have fall damage, so if I were to spawn in, like, a helicopter, which, actually, I don't think this island has one for a helicopter. We might have to do the, the ship first. So let me go ahead and spawn in a ship here, and we're going to test out... Uh, some of the sinking mechanics here. So I do have a new destructible ship here. Uh, this is another GB Danny ship. Uh, these are the ones that normally split in half. Now, we have it to where the vehicles can take damage, which is good. So maybe we can actually spring a leak in the hole uh, before splitting it, which I think, yeah, there's a... There's an empty area down there that should be able to take on water. Now, one thing that you probably want to start adding to your ships. Uh, this is a survival element. Uh, they have a diving outfit, which we did test it out uh, in the uh, tsunami video, 
but you can add this. There's one for fire and there's a scuba one. Now, the difference between the scuba and the diving is the diving can go much deeper and holds a, a bigger amount of oxygen. So I would highly suggest putting that one on the boat if you can. Uh, I haven't tested out the fire one yet. I don't know if we'll get around to that today, but I just want to let you guys know there is a fire outfit too. Ah, oh, yes, it is a glorious Coast Guard cutter. Ah, and look at that. Lifeboats. That means we actually get to survive here, folks. Survival means something now. That's actually got me really excited. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm jazzed right now. Alright, this is actually a, a pretty gorgeous, pretty small little boat here. This is definitely going to work for today's episode. Uh, this isn't going to be like a full sinking ship survival episode where that's all we do. It's really to test out the survival elements. So this looks like more like a normal uh, Coast Guard cutter here. I don't know if those are water pumps up there or are they are they actual guns. Uh, let's go up into here. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up real quick. Now, initially, some of the uh, some of the ships were a little broken, but I do think it's actually better now. Uh, let's hold the ignition. There we go. All right. Now I do not have the advanced uh, motor or the advanced engines on right now because a lot of the ships don't have them yet. And I can look at trying to build one with them, but yeah, I looked at some of the parts and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can actually put these together. I could barely put together basic ships. All right, let's go ahead and jack the engines up. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we're just going to keep going out this way. It does seem like the, uh, the island spawns are a bit different now, too. So I noticed certain islands that I used to not see very close to the starter islands. Uh, they're actually there, especially when you spawn on the creative island now. Like one time, I actually had the military base right beside me, and that's a first. Uh-oh. Uh oh Kind of testing out a little bit of damage here just to see. Oh! Oh! Well, I said I was going to wait for this, but I kind of wanted to skim against this island just to see what would happen. Did you see that? Oh, it got a little laggy during that, too. Oh! Look at the scrapes. Now... I do want to say there's a little disclaimer about the damage. It's not like I can't run two ships into each other and split them in half. It's really, you'll see this surface damage, but it can cause leaks. Let's go ahead and check inside our, uh, our hole here. That looks pretty clean. Uh, yeah, I don't think we had, uh, no, it doesn't look like we sprung any leaks, but we did definitely scrape against that. It might take more of like a direct impact with something. Uh, maybe we'll run some boats together here real soon at a high rate of speed and see if that'll do it, but just kind of wanted to test that out real quick and show you guys some of the scrape marks. Uh, it's still kind of cool you can get damage now. I tell you what, I said that didn't affect anything, but folks, look. Look at that. That was not there before, and that is slowly rising. I think we sprung a leak in the boat, actually. We might not have to press the scuttle button here. Han, does this... Okay, this portion doesn't... Han, is our below deck... Let's uh, go check that out real quick. Are we taking water just down below, or is our actual... Uh, I don't know what you would call it. I guess the hole, I know, is taking water. But what about below here? Is this taking water, too? Oh, let's open up the port door here. Uh, it looks pretty clean. Actually, the, the leak would have been towards the front here. Okay, here's the engine room. Oh, there is water inside of our boat now. Look at that. That is incredible. Uh, let's keep that in there. Okay, let's keep those compartments sealed. Folks, that's amazing. I actually didn't expect it to be like that. I, I thought it was going to actually take a little bit more. But that was a pretty simple scrape. So, we indeed are taking on water right now. Now, question is, is it enough to actually sink the boat? Uh, we do have the compartment sealed. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, uh, and I've been saying, I've been saying David. It's actually David, or at least that's what people are saying. Dave and it, or Dav and it. I don't know. I'm saying it wrong, but let's go ahead and get those ready to be deployed. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell. Look at the water line. It is, uh, we're going down a little bit. Now, I don't know if it's enough to sink it, Hans. Confirm. Oh, yeah, we're definitely, oh, man, I thought we were going to have to run two boats in together, but no, it's, uh, you can just skim them. Oh boy, that is cool. So yeah, normally we have the uh, the little scuttle button here, but I don't know if we even need it. Uh, we might be sinking on our own. So if you have certain, well actually I don't know, if the water gets to the engine, does it stall it out or does it do anything to it? 
I don't know. Is there water getting in this room now? No, the water is actually sealed to the uh, to the front compartments, probably the crew quarters right now. So we might actually be able to stay afloat at the moment. It is definitely going somewhat down, though. That is so cool. All right, folks, I think we have a bit of an issue. I, I do believe we are going down right now. Uh, I've just been watching it slow. Oh, it's not slow anymore. Hold on. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let's check this uh, real quick. Oh, no. It is actually, I have not, like, look back here. There is no scuttle button clicked. It, this thing is actually going down. All right, let's go ahead. Let's kill motors. I need to get this thing to where it's not moving anymore. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, yep, let's get on the lifeboats. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. What the heck? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, release. I got the release right there. There we go. Drop our lifeboats in the water. Wait, what's going on with the engines right now? I just turned them off, did I not? Uh, maybe there's an additional, some sort of stabilization engine in there? I'm not really sure. Uh, alright. Lifeboats are in the water. Let's go ahead and raise these. Uh, that way when this thing goes down, it does not damage them anymore. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Yep. Hey, look, there's actual engines in these now. Sweet. I don't know if uh, GB Danny watches my videos, but I remember last time we didn't have an engine in these, and... Oh, boy. Oh, there it goes. Well, we for sure made it out of this one. Uh, we reacted fast enough, because it's a little bit different feeling once you know that you can die. Uh, depending on like, all right, we're not gonna stay on the boat very long this time. We're gonna actually get out of here, and yeah, that's what we did. Oh boy, we need to pull this away. You know, we're gonna up the ante here with this, and I think we're gonna actually uh, maybe spawn in a tsunami here. So to spawn in a tsunami, which I think we showed this briefly last episode, it you'll have the creative uh, menu. Now the tsunami can spawn in on missions, but we can spawn it down here, so we'll go boom. And initially, it seems like it was coming east to west. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait. Wait, we don't want to be right here. Uh, we want to oh, get in the pilot seat. Okay, uh, where's the where's the engine button? Oh, is it maybe? Oh, there it is. It's, it's just the one. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, look at the boat. Oh, we're so screwed. Okay, come on. Oh, no, no, this thing's gonna flip itself. We're gonna have to just brace here. Oh, man, the engine on this is a little sensitive. Uh, of course, that might be the update doing it. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. Survival is on, so can we actually survive? Oh, I should have grabbed the scuba gear. Oh, do I have time? Uh, all right, you know what? We gotta make a run for it. Wait, where's the scuba gear at? There it is. Uh, it's right up there. Oh, this is stupid to go back to the boat, but we need the scuba gear. It's right. Oh, wait. Which side is it on? Oh, it's down there. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait, where's my scuba gear at? Oh, on. Equipped it. There we go. All right, we got scuba gear on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so we can survive now. Uh, the drowning portion. Uh, uh oh. Oh, no. Wait, crush damage is a thing, too. Oh, boy. Uh, we need to get into this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, so we're in the seat. Uh, wait, this thing's gonna get away. All right, you know what? Uh, we don't want to be here. Hold on, let's go over here. We want to get away from the ship because there is crush damage. If we get slammed up against it... Oh! <laughs> oh! There it goes! The ship's gone! Look at the lifeboats, they sunk! I think it's actually, uh, it's good we weren't in those. Oh, we're under the tsunami! <laughs> oh, there it goes! Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, just got slammed. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't kill me. I just got slammed into the side of the boat. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I got the little two, the reflections. You're probably seeing two of me right now. Give it a second, it'll settle out. Oh boy. Well, we survived the tsunami, so that's a thing. Our boat still hasn't quite gone down yet. You know, I think it's holding a pocket of air in the back of it, if I'm not mistaken. I almost want to open it up and see. Actually, if I open it up, it's probably gonna sink it. Oh, I think it's I think it's finally basically had enough. I don't know if it's gonna go down any further, to be honest with you. Like I think it's got some sort of pocket of air lodged into it. It definitely warranted uh, abandoning ship there because obviously you're not gonna be inside of that thing. I think it's a matter of time. So yeah, we did not use the actual scuttle button that was built onto the ship. We were able to actually give damage. 
uh, by scraping up against the rocks and it actually took it down. Now, I think for maybe Sinking Ship Tuesday, we will do something probably massive ship-wise. So I think it's time, let's go test out some actual ship crashes and maybe we'll uh, try to kill the character more. Maybe we'll light him on fire or something. That is incredible looking. Oh no! Oh, I'm drowning! I just spawned back! Oh, the tsunami just hit! Oh boy, yeah, I spawned back at the, uh, the Mega Island and the tsunami was actually still coming through the map. And yeah, it was just on the Mega Island when we spawned back on it. Wow, we actually took some damage there. You know, we might also have to do a tsunami survival like on either a base or do it on land and watch this thing come running through. Alright, that was kind of cool. Alright, so we're going to be crashing the Orion and the Pegasus. The tsunami is still in the background, by the way. Uh, these are both uh, legendary ships that we've checked out. We actually checked this one out, and we put fires out with this one because it's got a drone on the back of it. So, we're going to do that. So, uh, what do you guys think of the update so far, or what do you want to see? I'd actually, uh, I think we're going to start doing some more missions now uh, that they have a little bit more, I would say, consequence uh, that the NPCs can die now. So now when you have like an actual fire and you've got to like rescue them and get them away from it, uh, that just, it feels a lot better. It feels less like a fetch quest and more like a, hey, we actually have to save some people here. So I do look forward to doing that. So I'm going to spawn the Orion. I'm going to find, actually we'll just get out to the side. I'm going to gun it full speed and I'm going to run into the side of the, uh, the other one out there and we'll see what kind of damage we can do. Alright, so here's the Pegasus right here. Got a little bit of lag here by this dock, but not too bad. Oh boy, I'm so excited to do this. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. We might just sink both the boats. Alright, so here we are. We're in the Pegasus. You know, this thing does have a hydrofoil on it. I wonder if that still works after the update. I don't know. Uh, that could actually make us pick up the proper amount of speed. You know, I don't actually don't think it's going to take that much speed to to crack open the hole there. So, alright, we are lined up. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a little bit laggy over here for some reason. Could be the two, uh, these are really advanced ships. Even though they're not very big, they've got a lot of features on them. Alright, so that is our target right there. Let's go ahead and gun it. Oh, boy. So, question is, is it going to take the same amount of damage? Are we going to destroy some parts? Are we going to see a fire breakout? I don't know right here. I think this is the first time I've actually tried to run two ships into each other, so... Uh, this could be interesting. Alright, here we go. Are we gonna damage the Orion here? This is gonna hurt my computer. Uh, oh! Oh! Uh-oh, I think we might have hit it too hard. Uh, oh, the frame rate. Oh, look at that! It just burst into... Sp oh, is that flames or is that... Oh, it's smoking! Alright, so the damage portion might need a little bit of optimization. I don't think we're, uh, we're supposed to run two ships together. So I notice that's a, a very big thing of lag whenever you do this. So hopefully this will get optimized soon, but that was pretty awesome. Let's let it settle out here and see what happens. Oh, folks, the frame rate is dead right now. We, uh, we might have broken Stormworks a bit. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's return this one over here to the workbench. Or let's try to real quick. Alright, so it does appear that the ship might be going down. I think we actually broke something there. I don't think it, we were meant to run two ships like that into each other. So I think we're actually gonna, we're gonna get the Orion back. And we're just gonna hope that the lag clears up here. Actually, look at that. The Orion came back damaged. Look how much damage is on it. The whole back half is scraped. Actually, is it leaking? Yeah, I think with the collision itself, we might have freaked something out. I'll report that to the dev. Uh, maybe something else happened, but it's back. It's still got the damage, but question is, is it still sinking? Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and get up. Oh, oh no, 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 don't get trapped under here. I'm going to drown myself under this thing. All right, let's get up here. All right, let's use the side ladder. It's kind of hard to even tell where the ladder is because it's so damaged right now. Actually, look at that. The components, the doors are actually loose now. They're not working. There's no power to it anymore. Yeah, it's actually dangling there. It's slightly open. Is the other side like that? So that was one thing. Like, you could lose power with damage. Like, the lights will turn off. Uh, components will fail. I bet you this thing doesn't even start up anymore. Hold on. Does this button work? This side still works. Okay. 
Uh, let's go check out the inside. Oh, even the inside of this thing is damaged. But we're not taking on water right now? I don't... No, it looks like it's clear of water. Now, it might have been taking on water uh, whenever we initially hit there. Oh, let's go up here. Oh, would you look at that? The person who made this ship already has firefighting equipment on it. Uh, by the way, if you want to play with any of these ships, I'll link them down in the description. Uh, let's go ahead. Does it still fire? No, it's dead. Yeah. That is cool. So we have engine damage. Yeah, I'd have to do a little bit more testing because it seems like the... Uh, huh, do we have any of the power working? No, these are all dead. Well, yeah, you can see the damage on the engine. I bet you that's what was smoking there. All right. So, yeah, this thing is completely dead in the water. That's so cool. So, I think the uh, the damage works really with just one boat. Uh, maybe the two boats is asking a little bit too much when you run them into each other. Uh, because the first sink that we had was just fine with the single boat. We got a little bit of lag when we grazed up against that rock, but it wasn't too bad. Alright, so we've tested that. That's a thing. Alright, so we're going to try something else here. I have the uh, the Sea Stallion. Uh, this is a fantastic helicopter. I don't know if this still works. I know some things have changed. So, it's not a guarantee that all the uh, all the workshop creations actually still work. Uh, this thing's actually beautiful. Let's go ahead and see. Does it fire up? Sounds good there. Uh, what do we got? Main throttle. Auto hover is engaged already. So, we have... Hold on. Let's see if we can... Uh, no, this one still lifts, I think. Or it's trying to. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's see. Do we need to... Let's go and kick up main throttle real quick. Uh, are we getting lift here? There we go. No, this one still works. Okay. So, these can receive damage also. I kind of want to test two things with this. I want to show you guys that you can fall to your death. And I kind of want to be inside of this thing if we crash it off in the water. Alright, so I'm here to prove a point here today. Show how many ways you can now die. Oh, boy. I still think we should get a parachute here in Stormworks. I wouldn't say I'd put it on the high priority list, but I think it would be useful in certain situations. Now, especially since stuff can fail, could you imagine being stuck in an airplane and not being able to get out of it because the engines have blown up or something? All right, enough talking. Uh, oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh. <laughs> yep, yep, you can die from falling. Oh, that's brutal looking. Oh, trust me, uh, you're gonna wanna tune in Saturday. The shark attacks? They are amazing, and they are amazing and very, very brutal. Like, I, I didn't expect it to look quite the way it did. Uh, it's going to be cool. So let's go ahead and spawn that back, and we're going to crash it. This is going to end very bad for us. Actually, you know what? Let's speed the wind turbine up. I think it actually speeds up with the uh, the wind. Oh, let's go up. There it goes. That's the speed I was looking for. All right, so... What happens when we let these two things touch? Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Uh, oh no! There's the damage I was looking for. Oh, oh wait, did it break off rotors? It broke off rotors. Oh, it is laggy. Uh, yeah, it's like all the components failing at once. I didn't actually know the rotors would break off like that, but wow. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to speed up this footage or something. Uh, oh, oh, we're going down. What's it like being inside of this thing right now? Oh, geez, we're hitting the water. Oh, it broke open the back cargo door. That's actually probably bad for us. Yeah. I think there's a chance we might die. Uh, oh, I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, no. Oh, yep, we crashed the helicopter. Oh, no, I'm trying to get out of the helicopter here. It's just, I think it's still partially going. I can't really tell what's happening here, folks. So obviously the, the damage, uh, if it all happens at once and it's a very violent impact and not gradual, uh, it does hurt the performance quite a bit as of right now. Hopefully this will get better, but yeah, I don't think we're getting out of this thing. It is, uh, it's going crazy right now. Oh well, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Well, here is the helicopter back. You can see the damage here. Wow. I think took on a lot of damage. It would be cool if we eventually get to a point where stuff starts to actually fall off, like the blocks can be like torn open. But for the most part, this is pretty cool. Like you can even see the door dangling there. The little window piece is no longer even active and holding still. That is cool. Oh boy. So I think that's about gonna wrap it up for this little update episode. We didn't cover everything. Uh, one last thing I do want to point out: there is new parts here. You've got like fuel tanks. 
Uh, here's all your scuba, fire gear. I mean, there's just a ton of new things. And like I said, it is not all necessary as far as the advanced. Uh, that's an option for the advanced engines and mechanics. So you don't have to be quite like I was intimidated at first. Like, oh, no, it's like I can barely hook up a boat to begin with. Uh, and what am I going to do with all this other stuff? Uh, so it is not a necessity, but it is certainly cool to see all these new parts and the way you're going to have to actually almost like start to do like an advanced build with a lot of this stuff in here. So it's very, very cool to see. So yeah, if you're looking for a really in-depth builder game, uh, I highly suggest checking this out because I think you're going to like the vehicle components here. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. We will be returning Saturday with some shark survival. So uh, be sure to check that out. We will have our normal sinking ship Tuesdays. And I think we maybe might do a, a mission episode on Monday. We'll have to see, though. But anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks, and we will see you guys next time.